Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Roadmap. So today's topic is electric current and its effect part one. And if you like the video, don't forget to click on thumbs up button. And you can also subscribe for more video updates and you can also share and you can also give your suggestions in the comment section below. So the topics to be covered in this lesson are introduction, working of electrical appliance, electric circuit, short circuiting, what are insulators and conductors, the different effects of electric current, electromagnets, the uses of electromagnets and the electric bell. So coming to the introduction from this uh, topic, you will be able to know about symbols of com some of the common circuit elements. To understand the concept of electric current and circuit, to apply knowledge and find the importance of insulators and conductors, to analyze the magnetic effect of current and to evaluate the effects of electric current and to make an electromagnet. So we use electric current in many ways, right? At home, you must be using it. It, may, it must be using to run fan and air coolers during summer. At night, it lights our home and we use it to run room heaters in winter to warm our rooms. It is used in refrigerators to keep things fresh at low temperature. It is used in geysers to heat water. It is used in electric heaters to produce heat required for cooking purpose. It is used to run radio, television and music system. The telephone also uses electric current. And there are other few electrical devices which is which are used at home. Now you can make a list of it. Like in factories, it is used to run huge electric motors. It is used to run electric trains. Then in cinema halls, it is used to run a projector. Even in schools, it is used to run a projector, right? And uh, electric current is used in large number of devices which make our life comfortable. So in industries, electric current is used for making electromagnets. Electromagnets are used extensively for lifting heavy loads of iron and television and telephone and in MRI machines. So uh, these are the different uses where the electric currents are used, right? So these are all the different uses of it. You can note down the other different uh, uses of electric current if it's coming into your mind. So what is the working of an electrical appliance? Can you think? An electrical appliance when put in use is connected by an electric wire to a plug. When we want to use it, the plug is inserted in the socket and the switch is turned on. And when we want that appliance to stop working, we put the switch in off position, right? You must be using it at home. The switch is for on and off according to your use. So what is electric circuit exactly? Now, you arrangement for obtaining electric current in a conductor by connecting it to a source of electric current is called a electric circuit or a circuit and electric circuit is the closed path in which electric current flows now in other words to say a continuous conducting path for the electric current is known as an electric circuit when an electric torch is switched on the bulb glows and emits light and the bulb glows because on pre pressing the switch Electric current flows from the battery in the torch to the bulb. And the conducting metal strips provide a closed path from the flow of the circuit. So there are two types of circuit, closed circuit and open circuit. The path along which the current flows is called as circuit. And the current flows only if the circuit is complete or closed. If the circuit is broken or incomplete, the current does not flow. For an electric circuit to be completed, every part of it must be made of conductors. And if there is an insulator in the path of the circuit, it is said to be broken or incomplete or open. 
so from this figure you will be able to get the uh, open circuit voltage and the closed circuit voltage now there are different components of an electric car circuit like which are essential example the source of electric current such as cell or battery connecting wires which are generally insulated copper wires key or switch or an electrical appliance that uses the current such as an electric bulb so there are electric symbols what are these to represent these elements in a diagram, a standard set of symbols is in common use. And from the figure, you can see the some of the common symbols of electric symbols uh, that are used for cell, battery, switch, bulb, buzzer, ammeter, voltmeter, motor, resistor, variable resistor. So all these symbols you have to memorize. You have to practice them. Now. What is switch? Now, this must be a question which must be coming into your mind, right? So, all of us have seen electrical switch, but do you know what is the actual use of switch and how does it work? This must be a thought which must be coming to your mind. A switch is a device used to close or open an electric circuit. It consists of two bar brass terminals into which fits in another piece of brass so one brass fits with the other piece of brass and by turning a small knob in upward or downward direction it is switched on or off or off in your previous classes you must have prepared a switch using safety pin and uh, you must have studied them when the switch is closed the Brass terminals and the movable piece of brass make contact with each other. When the switch is open, the brass piece is not making contact with the brass terminals. So this is important to remember. The switches are generally covered by plastic or uh, bakelite case so as to protect the user from receiving any electric shock. Now what is electric fuse? An electric fuse is a safety device which works on the heating effect of electric current and it breaks the electric current if there is an excessive flow of current in the circuit. Now it is the weakest part in an electric circuit which results in melting and breaks an electric circuit in use. Now there are some reasons of melting of fuse wire. These are the circuit gets overloaded due to large withdrawal of current. There is there is short circuiting due to worn out insulation on connecting wires and fluctuations of current and power supply system taking place. So when some overloading or voltage fluctuation takes place, the fuse wire melts and this in turn breaks the electric circuit and current stops flowing in the circuit. Now fuse helps in disconnecting an overloaded or faulty electric circuit and prevent an electric fire. Now that is most important that it prevents electric fire. Now, what is short circuiting? When positive and negative wires directly come into contact, a large amount of current suddenly occurs in the electric circuit and this is called a short circuiting. Due to short circuit, the wires will get overheated and may catch fire. The fire can cause damage to life and property. When the electrical devices are connected to a single socket, excessive electric current immediately flow into the circuit and it causes overload in the circuit and results into fire. Now, in order to prevent overloading and short circuiting, a fuse is always included in the electric circuit and it consists of an alloy of low melting point. When the electric current exceeds the same safe limit and the wire becomes hot and melts and it results in breaking the electric circuit. After correcting the fault, the broken fuse can be replaced by a proper fuse wire. Now what are uh, miniature circuit breakers from the figure? It is nothing but a miniature circuit breaker. Now these days fuses are being replaced by MCBs, miniature circuit breakers 
and these are the switches which turn off automatically when there is an uh, overflow of current or when current exceeds the safe limit when the switch off of the mcb is turned on the circuit becomes complete again and current flows uninterrupted they are important for the safety of electrical appliances and uh, as well as for us as we are staying at home so it is it should be a very of very high standard and it must be isi mark now a day is cartridge fuses are used extensively in commercial industrial and agricultural appliances now there are insulators and conductors the substance which do not allow current to flow through them with ease are generally called as insulators and uh, the examples of insulators such as cotton rubber plastic wood paper and glass air china clay leather and pure weather and the substance which allows current to flow through them uh, with ease that is easily uh, called conductors and the metals such as copper aluminum silver iron steel are conductors human body also allows current to flow through it and it is also a conductor impure water is also a conductor of electricity and so this is all for today stay tuned for more lessons to come in the coming lessons we'll learn more about the effects of electric current what is the heating effect of electric current and the magnetic effect then the lighting effect of electric current so thank you for watching